Hi, welcome to another Brush and Balcon video. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint plate bearers. Now to get them started, I base coated them using Russian Uniform WW2. So what I've done is base coated that over Corax White Undercoat and now we're just going to be adding a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade, which is Citadel colour. There you go. Now I'm just going to wait for that to dry and then once dry we'll go on to the next couple of layers. Okay the next thing that we're going to be doing is going to be adding another layer of Russian Uniform and that's just going to bring out the colour again leaving the right land flesh shade in the grooves. Okay, we're just going to skip to the end now and then I'll come back on once the, uh, this layer is completed. So next we're going to be doing highlights using Russian Uniform WW2 and Vallejo White. Uh, we're just going to do two different highlights on that, one slightly lighter than the other. And that's just to bring out all the edges and the creases in the skin. You can see the highlights on there giving quite an eerie kind of look so now all we're going to be doing is working on the patches where the flesh is torn open and it's going to be some nice red wounds in there and for this we're going to be using the fist on red uh, the citadel color and we're just going to be filling all of these in with the same red Now we're going to skip to the end again, and then when we come back, all the red should be done. Okay, there we have all the red done. In. We've got a few decent wounds that we can add, um, add some nice effects to there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing the intestines. So for that, I've mixed a little bit of dark flesh from Vallejo, and I've mixed that with the Mephist on red. And all we're going to be doing is doing the innards, a sort of like a, a kind of creamy pink colour.
There we go. That's the inside done. So the next colour that we're going to be doing is Citadel Juicy Violet. We're going to be using that on all the open wounds just to give it some depth and a bit of darkness in the deeper recesses. Just wait for that to dry, now we'll move on to the next layer. Next thing we're going to be doing is the pustules and the boils on his body. And for this we're going to be using a mixture of Citadel Real Yellow, Citadel Avalon Sunset and Vallejo White. But any white paint will do for it. For this layer we're going to be using Citadel of Cast Flesh and that's going to be used to do his claws, teeth and the horn on top of his head there. We're just mixing a tiny bit of Russian uniform with Rakar's flesh. I'm just going to do a little bit of blending on that. I'm going to keep adding Russian uniform to the Rakar's flesh to darken it up each time. Next we're just going to add a little bit of his shabty bone to the ends of the teeth and the end of his nails and then that will be this layer done. that layer done. Okay, next we're going to be using Citadel Lamenta's Yellow Glaze. I'm just going to be putting this around all the wounds on his body just to give him that really kind of sickly look. There we go. Just wait for that to dry and then we'll get on to the next part. Okay, now we're going to be working on his eye. All we're going to do is get a little tiny bit of white. So 
slight overspill there, but we can tidy that up later. Getting a tiny little spot of black. Okay, the next colour is Citadel Caraberg Crimson Shade. I'm going to be using this to do trickles of blood from all the wounds around the gums on his teeth and around his eyes and around all the pox as well, just to give him a quite a horrible, inflamed, dirty look. Right, I'll skip to the end on that bit, I'll just carry on doing that for the rest of the model. What we're going to move on to now is painting the blade. There's a very quick method that I use for doing a blade. So the first thing is to use Citadel Zerius Purple. I'm going to just give this a reasonably smooth layer. It doesn't matter if there's too much showing through, if it's a bit streaky, we can just go over that and give that a second layer. The main thing is to get that all covered. I'm just going to skip forward and we'll start on the next layer. Next thing we're going to use is some Citadel Juicy Violet. I'm going to be just leaving this so it pools at the bottom of each ridge so it leaves a darker patch there. I'm just going to leave that to dry and then we'll crack on with the next layer. Next we're going to use a little bit of Zerius Purple and White mixed together just to sort of give a little bit of a, a lighter shade at the top of these sections. And then we're just going to add a little tiny bit more white to that. Let's just give another little highlight. And finally, we're just going to do a very gentle wet brushing to bring up those edges in white. Okay, the final thing that we're going to do is I've just given that a coat of matte varnish. Now all we're going to do is use the gloss varnish to highlight a few particular areas of it. So we're going to do his eyes, his mouth, all the wounds, and then his blade as well.
and I have it. One play better. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing to the channel, it does help us out a lot. Also think about subscribing to one of our other forms of social media listed below. Thanks a lot.